Right, if you have a bench drill, a milling machine or a lathe, um, there'll be quite often times when you need a flat bottom drill um, to actually finish the back face of a bore. I use them for um, when I'm drilling items and threading them for an Allen bolt so the shoulder of the Allen bolt doesn't sit on the actual um, cone of the drilled hole. I use a flat bottom drill to quickly skim the um, back face or when I'm making adapters for compressors um, and things I have um, the core diameter for the um, tapped hole here and then I have a flat bottom drill exactly the same diameter as the core diameter for quickly going down and finishing that back face and then maybe just skimming down um, with an o-ring uh, groove for the o-ring and having flat bottom drills speeds up the process considerably And they're also great if you're machining something up um, where you need a nice um, shoulder at the back of a bore um, for something like a spring. And you can use end mills for the same purpose, um, like if you're doing a 8mm or a 10mm um, Allen bolt hole. Um, I've got um, end mills in that size which I use for those but sometimes you need a, a longer bore or um, an actual flat bottom for a hole um, of a different size uh, where you haven't got an um, end mill. So in this video I'd just like to show you how um, easy it is to grind one up like this and how well they cut on the lathe. So when I'm making a flat bottom drill up I always um, dress the surface uh, or the front of the wheel and make sure it's nice and flat and I use this um, diamond tool here I've had this for many years now and it's still going perfectly and it does a great job So I've got a couple of um, 41 64th drills um, with 2MT taper and I'm going to turn one of them into the flat bottom drill. So firstly I just grind off the angle.
and I have um, done so many of these in the past that I can actually do it by eye and you can actually use a square on that to see that it's dead square like that one there um, from the side you can see a very slight um, backed off angle and it looks like that at the moment um, from the front face So looking at the top of the tool there, you can actually see that the um, flute is making a curve um, on the front here on the cutting edge. Um, some people do actually leave it like that and um, they do cut all right like that. Um, but I've always been taught to um, grind a flat on um, the actual flute here, um, either side and square that up. Um, this is one that I've... Um, made earlier and you can see that on um, this one so it's nice and um, square right across the top and you can actually see those uh, faces ground on the flutes and this is why you need a nice um, flat surface on the actual front of the wheel and a nice sharp corner um, when I'm offering it up to the wheel like that I'm having it at a very slight um, angle and touch on and also pushing it into this side here a little bit. So the way I've ground it there, um, there's a very slight angle on that um, face that I've just ground there, nothing much. Um, there's clearance obviously um, from the um, cutting edge on the back there. Um, you can increase the clearance if you want to, but um, you can see that there's plenty of clearance on that one anyway. And also um, grinding it like that um, thins the uh, web part here. Um, you want it as um, thin as possible without actually um, breaking through. Like that one there. And then I put uh, the um, flat bomb in a vise like this on my um, bench vise. And then I uh, follow the angle um, on the side of the drill here and just carefully put a small um, radius on the corner and you can actually choose what size radius um, to have on it if you want a larger one obviously put a larger one on I just basically um, break the edge um, so it's a very small radius And that's the um, flat bottom ready to use.
So first I'm going to use the ordinary drill. And now I'm going to use the flat bottom drill. And there you have a nice flat bore face. And now I'm going to show you the same on a piece of steel.
and you will see the um, truck slowing a bit there and um, it's just slipping on the bell a bit. And there we go, it cuts perfectly on hard steel as well. So that's about it. Um, it's well worth making a set of these up if you have some spare drills and you'll be surprised at all the different jobs you can actually use them for.